I understand the procedure, the motion may be in order to extend the time of counsel beyond this. Move to vote favoring opposed. Counsel carries. We now have items, line items eight and nine have to do with the reprogramming of Harrisburg funds. Counsel, Mayor Pro Tem Gonzalez. Thank you, Mayor. This is a very simple, with the changes with the Metro overpass, underpass, this specific funding source has been released and will now return back to its original intent, which was a street reconstruction project. So I'm making this request now. Discussion? Discussion. Council Member Martin. Yes, appropriate to ask the Council Member a question. So this is a $10 million from last week's. No, sir. No, it's different. So can you explain where this $10 million came from? And the reason why I ask is it was $10 million out there and you're going to bring it back and reprogram it for something that's unknown at this area? No. Okay. No, sir. There was, this is, this actually started in the white administration where the city made a commitment to put $10 million in if Metro would agree to build either over or under, but include, include the city and not, because Metro was going to build its overpass for rail only, light rail only, the city offered $10 million in the white administration. As we move toward an underpass, the underpass was significantly more expensive than the overpass, so we needed more money. And I went to Council Member Rodriguez at the time and the Mayor Pro Tem and they put, pulled the money out of their existing CIPs, they killed projects in order to put to a $2.5 million roughly each into more money for an underpass. The underpass is not going to be built. The city still intends to commit the $10 million because they are either way, but they are taking their CIP money back from previous years. Thank you. Council Member, again, that money had, was already in our existing CIPs, it's just being placed back as a line item. So this has nothing to do with how you guys feel on the $10 million that we have postponed for? No. I'm sure he's supportive of his project. Okay. He'll speak to that. Okay. So the projects that were going to be held, done, pull the money off of them and the other, go back to the same projects or different projects? The same project. Okay. Thank you. That were still needed. Makes sense. The Mayor Pro Tem is the same project. Council Member Gallegos, it's slightly different. It's different projects, but it was money that they killed their projects in order to fund specifically the underpass since these are not built. Got it. Council Member Costello. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to follow that thought process and it's my understanding that the reason why we delayed the action that we did on the Metro funding was to give the District Council Member and the consultant an opportunity to reassess the underpass overpass issue. So are we saying today that if we approve these two amendments, then we won't fund an underpass if an underpass option is continued? Is that what we're saying today? I would ask if Council Member Gallegos would address this himself, but I have had conversations with him and the Mayor Pro Tem and I don't believe that either one of them believes that the underpass is a viable option. They do believe that and I also believe that they both think that it's not a good solution to have Metro just build it with no grade separation. It's not positive, but I'll let them speak for themselves. Before I release my time, yield my time, I fully agree that we need to have roads go with the rail over this crossing here, but my understanding was the topic of discussion that we had at the last Council meeting had to do with the fact that there are still people out there that believe that the underpass is still an option and the reason why we delayed this was to give those people an opportunity to bring that information forward. So I'm wondering if this is premature. That's my question. That would be a question to Council Member Gallegos. It's going to be Council Member Gallegos that actually, it was Costello's turn, so one or the other of you needs to get in the queue. Council Member Gallegos. Thank you, Mayor. In regards to these monies here, in regards to District H and District I, these were monies way back when, when the agreement was to go ahead and build the underpass. So therefore, former Council Member Rodriguez 
uh, went ahead and allocated $3.2 million <coughs> from a CIP project in District I uh, for the purpose of the underpass. Uh, but now that Metro has stated that they will not be building an underpass due to the fact that the ground is contaminated uh, and they feel that there's you know, concerns of the safety and the environmental uh, and what have you. Uh, the community leaders in District I have stated that since Metro says they will not build an underpass, not to release this money to them for an overpass due to the fact that the agreement was it's going to go for an underpass. And therefore, that's why I'm pulling the $3.2 million, uh, and I will put back into the CIP in District I. Can I address Councilman? Yes. Councilmember, however, the discussion that we had last week was about the $10 million for the road with the rail going over. And there was a lengthy discussion about the fact that there are still people that believe that the underpass is still an option. Now, are we saying here at the table that we are all committed to an overpass? And if that was the case, then why didn't we let that action move forward last week? Why did we delay? Oh, no, that, that, that $10 million was due to the fact, again, that back in uh, May, when myself and Councilman Gonzalez had gone to the Metro Board meeting to ask them for a 30-day review period, uh, and we had a letter from the city attorney's office in regards to the, uh, the liability of the contamination, you know, if, if an underpass would be built. Uh, we went ahead and, 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 and asked for the 30 days.